Hey guys, what's up? It's Jax the Legend here, and today I'm here with another Minecraft tutorial. And in this week's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a super secret Minecraft Nether portal. Now you might be wondering, Jax, how does this Nether portal work, and where is it, and how is it that secret? Because the Nether portal is big, purple, glowy, and makes loads of noises, so my friends are going to be able to hear it. Well, actually, with this one, it is completely hidden, makes no noises, and so your friends won't be able to find it. Okay, so we've got a normal looking mountain here, with a kind of suspicious hole, but most people would think maybe it's just a weird Minecraft terrain generation. And if you walk up to it, you won't, can't hear any portal noises or anything like that. But, however, if you place a lever on this block here and flick it down, the door will open and the portal will light. Let's watch that again. Door opens, portal gets lit. Then when I turn it off or break the lever, you can hear the portal break and then the portal is no longer there. So if I go into spectator mode, you can see the portal is no longer lit and it's just an obsidian shell. So no sounds are coming out of it. Okay, so we're now in the redstone flat world and you can see the redstone behind this build is pretty compact and pretty simple. So all we have here is a few observers to detect when the redstone turns on and off to activate the water dispenser. And then we have a redstone system that's connected to a redstone torch and a um, piece of redstone dust to activate the flint and steel. And then we just have a simple 2x2 two two redstone door. So as you can see, it works just like the other world. I can flick the lever, it turns on and off, so on. But to build this, the materials you'll need will appear on your screen now. Now make sure to grab, gather up all these materials, and then we can get onto the tutorial. Let's start by placing our um, portal one block into the ground like so then building your portal just like you would normally would now because it's one block into the ground we'll have a one block step up and then we'll jump down however you can lower it one further block and then you'll just it'll be at um, regular height so as you can see here um, on this redstone thing you've got a little step up this is for mainly for the redstone door however if you did lower this portal one further into the ground you wouldn't need that step up but you would fall one block slightly in Okay, so now we're going to get out two dispensers, place one in the bottom corner here, and then one in the top corner, up like this. Just like that, and then fill in the rest with blocks. It could be any sort of block as long as redstone can go through it. Now at the top of your portal, place two blocks in the middle, and then two blocks to each side, like so. These are going to be blocks to place redstone on. Then we want to place redstone on every single one of these blocks. Now on the block that um, is the sort of left side of the middle, so these two middle blocks, the left side of this one, you want to place a repeater going towards the other side on two ticks delay, so you want to click that once. But as you can see, if I grab a lever out and place it here and flick it on, it will activate all the way over there after a slight delay. That's exactly what we want. Now that we've got that, grab out an observer and place it directly in front of this um, directly behind this observer, so uh, this repeater, so the observer's looking at the repeater. Then place a redstone dust here next to the observer and place another observer looking at that piece of redstone dust. So this is what it should look like. Then behind both of these observers, place a block and then place two blocks here and here. Now connect redstone up like so. So there's um, redstone under both of these um, observers and they're all connecting. Perfect. Now place a piece of redstone dust on this obsidian right here near the observer. The observer should flash on and off as you can see because I'm making a block change. Then place a block one diagonally down, place a repeater coming out of that block that the redstone is on on four ticks delay. And then wrap some blocks around like so and with redstone on all of them. Then place a redstone torch with a piece of redstone dust below it so it should look like that. Pretty simple. Make sure this is on vortex delay and is facing towards the redstone. So again, if I say um, ignite this redstone, this will turn off. So turn on. That'll turn off. The redstone torch will turn off, and this redstone down here will turn it off. Okay. Now we want to grab out some pit sticky pistons. We need two of these and our blocks. And I'm going to be using sandstone. We want to come down to the further side of this um, redstone stone sort of line at the top and place two sticky pistons like so on both sides and place our blocks on those sticky pistons. Now that we've got that we can place our step up like this. 
So that's where we're going to be just sort of walking up, so you can place that right along. And then maybe put some blocks up here. Now I've got about a redstone torch, a lever, and a block. Come to this block right here, the one, this piece of redstone right here, the one next to the repeater. Come one block out and one block diagonally up. Make sure this block is a nice looking block because this will be able to see from the outside. Then place a redstone torch on that block which should power everything and leave your doors open. So now if you flick that lever, your door should open and close. You can now also break this lever when you're not using it. Okay, now all we have to do is grab our flint and steel and our water and place a flint and steel in this bottom dispenser and the water in the top. And if you flick this lever, you'll be able to see our portal ignites. And then if I hop into game mode spectator, it's unignited. As you can see, it's not ignited anymore and it's sort of like obsidian. Now to hide this, you might be wondering how do I make this look not suspicious. You can either leave it like this to make people leave people wondering, or you can sort of um, change these blocks into sandstone and make it sort of look like there's a bit of a hole or a cave there. There are also many other places you can hide your portal outside of just a mountain. If I come over here to my nice cottage across the lake, you can see I've hidden a portal in the wall just over there. In my beautiful modern mansion that I have built on my patron server, you can also see that I've hidden a portal here and it looks super sneaky and just looks maybe like a closet or something. I could even if I wanted to place some doors in front of this, um, which would hide it even more because it would just appear like a closet actually if we're doing a modern house, it'd be more so the birch doors, just look like a closet or another room. Now, if you don't feel like using water and you want to use something a bit more spicy, um, you can use lava instead of it. However, if you do flick it on and off really quickly, you can come into some issues, as you can see. But these can a lot of the time just be fixed by turning on and back on slowly. So as long as you don't flick this back on and off rapidly, you shouldn't run in, into any issues. Now, I believe you'll also be able to use powdered snow. Um, but I will have to do a bit more testing to check that as well as that they might change something So if when the 1.17 update does come out I'll put a pinned comment in the video saying that if you can or cannot use it But as you can see lava works fully fine if I do it slowly So if you want to see more tutorials like this as well as my Alphacraft SMPs with wild one Make sure to hit that big red subscribe button as well as that if you want to come on my patreon server Which is a completely family friendly and safe environment make sure to check out the link in the description down below and I will see you guys later and remember stay carbonated